Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is my 10 speed bicycle. I showed this in a video yesterday and I gave a 14 minute high speed tutorial yesterday. I was waiting to do the two hour long tutorial because it takes a long time to render and I had to, uh, I had to run the video a couple of different times for different reasons and it's ready today. So as soon as I'm done yakking here, you will be seeing a time traveled back into the past tutorial on how this vehicle right here was actually built in two hours. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, if you haven't seen the video that I did yesterday, check it out because that red bike over there, Hero drove that one to the treasure and we did a little race. I ended up beating him, but it was a fun race and uh, we actually kept going after I was done with the video. Um, we did quite a few runs in these things and it was just kind of always fun. Um, has just enough left backwards and forwards tilt or side to side tilt to it, and it'll kind of it'll kind of calm itself down, especially if you uh, just kind of work with it a little bit. Um, makes it to the treasure almost every time. I I will admit, a little while ago I was going off the uh, the waterfall at the end there, and I hit my head on a spike, killed me instantly. Body parts all over the place. Uh, but the bike itself actually did make it to the treasure. So technically, it's made it to the treasure 100% of the time. <laughs> I just wasn't on it that one time. I guess you could say that about a lot of vehicles. All right, time to stop yakking. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and seeing my videos. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other content if you like. Check out Hero Plays Roblox. See ya. Welcome time travelers. You have just traveled into the past before I've even built the vehicle that you just saw. Let's hope it was something cool. Otherwise this is just going to be embarrassing. It might be embarrassing anyway. Alright, I just put that gold block out there. I'm going to adjust it to 50. And then I'm going to change my scale to 0.75. I'm going to thin it down on all sides. Make it 0.5 by 50 and now I'm going to place a gold block on the top and the bottom and then we're going to go to a scale of 0.5 I'm going to pull that thing in 0.5 and then flatten it down so it becomes the same level as the spoke this is kind of going to be the rim of the tire same thing on that side so again it's level with the spoke and now I'm going to adjust it by 1.2 go out on that side and this side I'm going to use a 10 degree rotation and I just happen to know that 1.2 is the number I'd like to use for this because I measured it a little earlier and then I messed up on the video and had to start over so <laughs> here we are point one I'm going to bring this sand out 0.1 and then I'm going to go down into it by 0.1. Okay, pulled it in by 0.1. Now I'm going to shrink it down there. We're going to stop at 0.8. Point 0.8. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and adjust this out to 1.2 in each direction for a total length of 4.4. That lines it up with the gold, but when I do the rotation, there'll be a little bit of a gap right here uh, in the in the sand where there won't be a gap in the gold. That's exactly how I want it to work. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and color these things. Um, that is the color right there that I'm using for the gold that kind of makes it look more shiny more silvery well gray I'm gonna go with deep black for the sand those are my tires okay and now time to do some cloning I'm just gonna grab that whole thing I'm gonna clone it out back in I've got my clone set to 10 right now I'm gonna go to rotate set it to a rotation of 10 degrees and rotate that one time there we go now I've got two of them 
I'm going to clone it, put it back in, and then I'll rotate two times. Now four times. One, two, three, four. Now eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now I got two more stragglers. Let's do those. Grab those two right there. Hold shift, grab those two. Grab that spoke and that spoke. Clone it, push it back in, and rotate two. One, two. Awesome. That looks like a wheel. Now I'm going to grab a block of plastic. I'm going to use plastic for most of the top of the bicycle because it's lighter weight. And I'm going to go to an adjustment of 1.25. And I'm going to pull that over there. And we're centering it right now. And that centers it right there on that spike. And now I'm changing it to 1. We're going to pull it down. And I'm going to get it centered on that spoke right there. And you can see the little adjustment bubble. I'm at 2x2x2, two by two by two, so I know that's perfectly centered. Since I'm at an adjustment of 1, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out on each side. That makes that block 4 long. And then I can go ahead and place another block on that. And then I'm going to grab that block and go to move. And I'm just going to move it up here out of my way for now. So I'm sitting it up here above the wheel. Now that one's going to be used in just a little bit. I'm going to take this block and this block and move it down by two so one two and that is where the wheels are going to go i'm going to use the regular wheels and we're going to use the uh the rear tire from the we the regular wheel set that one right there okay that puts two tires inside of each other and centers them on the wheel we just made that should work really well. And now I'm going to protect that with a 0.5 adjustment on this plastic. And I'm just going to scale all of this stuff out. And then let's see here. Smash it down there. I'll go up here. And go one more notch up. Awesome. Now I'm going to grab that block. I don't really need this one anymore because I can just grab this one and move it over. And I'm going to move it by 0.5 at a time. Well, I'm going to clone it, actually. And I'm going to clone it right to the edge of that wheel so that, uh, so that you can see the interference there and on the other side from the wheel block. I'm going to go ahead and color those. I'm going to go with this gray color here. That looks pretty good. It kind of makes the, the gold look like the gray. Go ahead and color that one, too. Why not? I'm going to bring this one down and I need to allow a little bit of room here because there's like a brake apparatus that needs to go in here so I'm going to bring that down to there and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust it out 0.2 basically all directions there's an 8 by 6 thing that looks pretty good now I'll be able to bring a bar up here and connect it on Let's go plastic. Okay. Neat. I think I'll shrink that back down just a little bit. Looks a little silly. Um, let's color it. There we go. There we go. Um, I think I think this actually is going to end up being a darker color for the. Yeah, I think it's going to be on a darker color for this um, for the frame of the bike. For right now, that's fine. I'm going to center this piece, and I'm going to go ahead and you know, just go ahead and bring that up. So we're going to bring it up and make it like six. Yeah, probably. Let's do seven. Why not? Seven's good. And let's go out 0.5. 0.5 there, 
there. So this is now this whole thing is three. That looks about right. I'm, I'm thinking how thick is the frame going to be. That, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, and now I'm going to actually shrink this back down again. Uh, I'll just go ahead and place another block on top of there. And then this one here. So that's, that's 0.5 out to there. I'm going to go out point. I think I'm going to go out point 0.7. Point 0.7. Yeah, that sounds good. 7 in the front and the back. And now I can I can shrink these things in. It doesn't really matter how much I shrink them in. I'll just use that 0.7 adjustment since I got it sitting there. Um, now I'm just going to color these things. Um, let's go that color and then... No, let's go this color and then go ahead and set the frame color. Kind of like that. It's going to be hard to see that. Might just go back to pink or something. Okay, good enough. I can, I'll adjust that in just a second. And go to clone. Ooh, that was weird. I need to set my clone tool back to 10 again so I jump way up in the air instead of 0.5. And I'm going to use a rotation of 15 degrees on this so I use slightly less parts and it's a little easier to deal with. Okay, and now I need to. Uh, need to fine tune so going to the scaling tool 0.01 so that's a small a movement as you can make and I'm just going to bring these in and see if I can figure out where's that happy spot where it kind of looks like it belongs that's a that's a kind of neat number right there it actually just came down to one so I take 0.6 off and I'm there really Holy mackerel, that is right. Good. Neat. That's unusual. Hadn't uh, hadn't planned that one out. Okay, I think maybe 0 0.52. 0 0.52, no. 0.53, yeah, yeah, yeah. 0.53, that's better. That leaves me with a little bit of over overlap instead of... Uh, Instead of a gap, I think that's better. Okay, I started out with 0 0.6, ended up with 0 0.53, 0 0.07 is my adjustment for the outside of this one and the outside of this one. And this one here, did I adjust those? I'm thinking big fat no. When did they start out? I think that was a 0 0.6 adjustment can't imagine that I actually did that because I'm seeing what I'm seeing there. Okay, so 0.6 adjustment there. You can see this number here matches. This one matches that one. This one matches that one. Yeah, we're good. Now, color them. Color them that color. Um, before I clone these things, I want to do... I want to do one more thing here with these two black blocks. Try to make life a little easier. I'm going to grab both of them. And I'm going to clone them. Let's just clone them up. And then I'm going to, I'm going to very specifically select this block. So that's the one that points, that makes my adjustment point straight forwards and backwards there. I'm going to go ahead and bring them. Well, I'll, I'll just adjust it up here in the air and then bring it down and show you what I'm doing. So I need to I need to bring these guys out. Let's bring them out by 0.5. I'm going to make another one of these sets right here inside of itself. So clone up and then back down. And the reason I'm making a separate set is that when I'm cloning this, it'll work better. So I'm bringing that out 0.5, and I'm going to go ahead and slam it all the way that direction. So 0.5 out on this one, slam it all the way there. 0.5 out on this one. And another 0.5. And I guess, really, this is the important part. Um, another 0.1. 
So I'm going to take 0.1 off of each one of these, making them 0.4. Essentially going to move them down, and then there's a gap. And it's that gap that I really want. These I'm going to close this gap up, so I'm going to move them 0.01, figure out where I'm going with that. So they started out at 0.4. And I'm going to just go, that's 0.45, let's go 0.46. Okay, neat. So 0.06 is the adjustment for that. I'm going to bring this one out that far for a total of 5, 0.52. Out there, out there. This one, that one, this one went too far. I don't know why I did that. Okay, good. Now I can bring these back down by 10. And now there's another layer on the outside of this separated by 0.1. So this is gonna allow me to make it look like this piece is gonna turn. This one's gonna be attached to the frame of the bike. It's gonna make it look like they're attached, but they're really not. Um, at the same time, let's let's go ahead and shrink this guy down. I think shrink it by shrink it by one point. Just shrink it by one on the top, and let's go like two or three on the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. One, two, two, yeah, two. So one on the top, two on the bottom. Okay, awesome. I wonder what that looks like up close. Let me get me a jetpack. I like this purple jetpack better than uh, better than any of the other ones. I don't like the wings at all for building. They only serve one purpose, and that's going a little higher. And. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, so I'll just clone that and make that into the circle shape. All right, cool. That, that will totally work. Okay, now I'm just going to delete, I'm going to delete some of these because I really don't need all of this. In fact, I probably don't need anything on this side of that one. I feel like I just deleted that and there's still another one there. I wonder why there's more of them inside of each other than there should be. I didn't mess that up. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it, I guess. Hmm, there's only, it's only duplicated like that in just a few spots. I'm guessing when I watch this video, I'm going to see what I did there. But thankfully, it's plastic, and if there's a little more of it than there should be, it is not the end of the world because it doesn't weigh anything. Well, that's okay. Don't leave yourself short, though. All right, awesome. Now I need to start making the frame. I think before I do that, I'm going to call this a back tire as well. So to do that, I'm just going to grab everything I want to clone, that stuff, and let's grab the reference block right there. Don't need any of the rest of the stuff, I don't think. And let's move it. Let's set the clone tool to 80. Because I think that's a good number. 
that makes me happy and I did reference this block right here that was the last one I selected so make sure you keep your your orientation reference correct okay now I need to attach to that piece right there for the rest of the frame now I think for the rest of this I might I might just start using plastic as it as it's colored it's a little easier to see the shadowing sometimes that way and so the frame needs to be like point let's see three blocks wide so I need to go 0.5 out on either side and I'm just going to kind of rough the frame in let's see what the frame is going to end up looking like so that would be a three by three um that's right I need to do another step here I need to rotate this I do I need to rotate that whole thing let's see how do I rotate that and keep the level correct oh well I just don't rotate the wheel itself I just rotate the other stuff yeah and it doesn't really matter if it's perfectly centered because that's not a reference I actually need to keep so I'm just going to leave this um, this block here in place so that's going to be a nice level reference and I'm going to move this let's see I need to get off of that 80 adjustment I'm going to move that like five or six let's just go five and see what that looks like five yeah yeah I could deal with that maybe it needs more than that not sure let's go six just one more okay and then I'm going to rotate this let's see what 15 degrees looks like well that points me kind of right at the center of that but that's not exactly what I want I think I want more like I don't know what five degree rotation looks like five I think that's that's ten I just did right there ten that looks good um, I'm gonna just move it a little farther I think that's two more okay now the stuff I'm doing here this is not very specific I uh, do not have to follow these instructions exactly just sort of willy-nilly this thing because I remember that these pieces are rotated a little bit too so I'm just gonna throw those in there let's see here and grab this and I'm gonna rotate those let's go 15 degrees on those one two three that's 15 and then I'm gonna stretch them out let's see I got 0.5 2.5 that is that is probably okay they are a thinner piece go ahead and bring that down and then I want to bring this up that is not what I want I want that I want it to be right about in there somewhere I'm going to rotate it a, a little bit more mm, so that ends up being 20 degrees uh, this is you know this is so not specific um, I'm, I'm being picky but I don't have any reason to be picky about it so I need to stop being picky about it really but I do need to rotate it another notch <laughs> okay that's like 25 degree rotation now off of the center probably should have just gone ahead and go 30 all right that's looking pretty cool now we're gonna grab this and we're gonna move that up into there this is 2.5 actually that don't look too bad kind of need to line those things up right there let me see if I can get up there this is going to be 
pretty easy to uh, to get the other side done too because I'm just going to clone it over there. 0.05, that's plenty good enough. That looks that looks reasonable. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I should just be able to clone that thing over, which means I can go ahead and delete this piece and that piece. And that is this piece and that piece. And I'm just going to put a clone number in of 0.5. And I think because everything's centered, it should end up being centered. Yep, that looks good. This little this little gap right here, that little offset right there, it looks looks good. Looks the same. Color that. Color that. There we go. Cool. Still looks funny. I think this piece needs to be thicker. Why is that so thin looking? Oh, because it's only two. I said we were going to do a frame of three. So I'm actually going to thicken that up. That explains why it looked funny. Now I need to recorrect again. Huh. Alright, just looking at some other stuff. I get distracted so easily. Five again. Retweak. This black color is really hard to see when you're building. It just doesn't reflect the light correctly. Okay, good enough. I'm going to delete those two again and clone that thing over as soon as I fix this. How do I fix that? No. I guess I don't. Oh yeah, I need to like, I need to like get another piece in there, don't I? Clone and then rotate. Let's go. Five degrees, that's probably good. Cool. Now, how am I adjusting that? Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty neat. It's kind of a thinner to a thicker thing. Now, I'll try that again. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Wish I could go in and tell my tell my past self or my future self. No, it'd be my past self. The right numbers to use for this stuff. Okay, I shrunk that down and it didn't go anywhere like it was supposed to. That's so weird. I kind of need to figure out what's going on with this. I had all those duplicate pieces in here and I don't like them. That, that's going to bug me that I have duplicates. I need to figure that out. Let me see here. Let me figure that out. Yeah, I guess it was just those four. Hmm. Uh, that lines up pretty pretty well with what I was seeing down here. So, whatever that mistake was, I think it's taken care of now. Wonder if that's got the same problem right there. Yep. Duplicate. Okay. These are all duplicates. I can get rid of them. All right. Now back to the frame again. Let's see what this looks like. 
better get off of that. It'll throw me into the sky. So I got to be careful right here. It's a good thing to have the color difference because you can see I'm I'm encroaching on my 0.1 spacing right there. So I need to actually back off by probably 0.1, I guess. Nope, more than that. Okay, there we go. Now, if that's going to be a frame, that's important. Okay, two. Cool. And that can carry over here. I need to adjust that back one the same way. Um, but the back ones, they don't need to be... They don't need to be angled like that front one, so it'll be a lot easier. I'll just need to grab them and turn them, line them up a little bit. Well, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to how much rotation that was, but I think I'm going to go back. Just, you know, use your imagination. See what you think looks right. If it looks right, probably is at least good enough okay I think I need to go that way just a hair that looks pretty good so I've got this piece coming off of here and that needs to go I need a piece right there I'm gonna go to match rotation so now, now I gotta start matching rotation to stuff because I've just created a monster here by rotating things I don't have any straight reference anymore. Okay, 0.5. That's going to go like that. Okay, um, I need some more of these little strut pieces here. Just going to grab that whole batch. I'm going to clone it. Let's clone it this way, and then I'm going to rotate it, like maybe, that's completely horizontal, um, I think, I think maybe down just a hair, yeah, and then I need to move it into place, cool. Now, I don't really need this block per se, but I'll probably hang on to it. I'm just move it over here. So I'm going to put the, the sprockets and the pedals and stuff go somewhere right in this area. I'll probably just go ahead and use that block as part of the uh, piece I'm going to rotate. All right, now I need another piece. Just trying to make this frame look right still. And this is this is just a lot of imagination. You can see just visually just kind of making art here, I guess. Is maybe what you call that? I don't know. Oftentimes art looks like trash, right? I've seen art looks like trash. Don't know whether that was their intention or not. Sometimes I think it was. Or seems like it. Sometimes it's hard to imagine it being looking like anything other than trash. <laughs> like this. It's getting there though. I mean, slowly but surely. Okay, I'm coming, coming to a point here where I think this piece needs to line up with that piece so that I can put the pedals and stuff in here. So do I back this off? Maybe I back it off a little bit. Can't do it too far though because the sprocket for the pedals has got to have some some mass to it because it's going to have some wheels on it to make them make the pedal spin. All right, cool. And now I need a seat bar. The seat bar is going to be, I guess, it's the same size frame. So let's just grab that thing and clone it again. Obviously, I'm not making a tube frame here. It's not going to be a round tube frame anyway. Let's see, that might just luckily be about right. Eh, not quite. Almost, though. I guess I'm still using a rotation of 5 degrees. That gives a little more flexibility. Whoops, I cloned it. I meant to just copy it. 
I think that looks good. That's kind of the frame of a like a 10 speed style bike. I'm thinking maybe maybe that's a little more maybe that's a little bit more like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another 5% does does the trick. Okay. Cool. And this can probably be like so let's see 6 by 6 by 8. I think that's actually pretty good right there. Okay, those are frame pieces. So if I was going to do a sprocket of some sort on this wheel, it needs to be like on this part of the wheel. Oh, how do I do that? So I guess I guess I just, you know, can start by sticking that on there. That's the vertical one. No, it's not. That's the vertical one. Okay. Bring that down. Get it centered again. This time I can kind of use the wheel to center things, I guess. Hmm. Why that seem off center? Because it is. That's centered. Okay, cool. And size of the sprocket? Let's go. I think it needs to be a little bigger than that. How much bigger? Let's go like so. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Um, let's bring it. Let's bring it out of here just a hair. I think that'll still rotate if I'm like that. I think. I guess if not, I know what to move. And that should line up okay. Now that's going to interfere with my tire then. It's going to be kind of funky. It needs to spin though. It does need to spin. Okay, well, I'll just go along with this and you guys know how it ended up turning out. Hopefully I did a good job compensating for my crazy building here. Let's go 15 with this one. And I think I'm just going to pull these guys back so they kind of look like a so they kind of look like a sprocket-ish sort of thing. Yeah, that should work. It should work good enough anyway. Let's see, coloring it that color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, select again, clone, same old, same old. Clone out, clone back. I need to change that to 10 because, you know, it's better. Okay, rotate 15 degree. One, two. Grab the other two. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good. That totally does not look like a sprocket. Uh, I don't know about that. That's not very satisfying. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure how I can make that better, but that's not that's not working for me. Let's see. I wonder if I dropped a couple of blocks on here. Are those is that the same one? No, that's the one. And then maybe 0.75. All right. And I think I think if I do that, I might be okay. So so questionable. I'm not really sure about that. Let's let's make it a little smaller. Let's make it point. Let's adjust it by 0.25, I guess. Pull them in. They just seem a little thick or something. Like the whole thing kind of does. Let's go like that. What was that? Three notches? 
One, two, three. There we go. And I suppose I should probably color those the same thing, even though that's annoying. Maybe I could do just a slight tint difference. How about that? How about we just do just a hair, a hair darker? That might work. It's okay. Okay, now I'm just going to clone those again. Gosh, am I really doing this? Why would I do that? I mean, I guess it's the sprocket that makes it a 10 speed, but... I don't know, guys. This is... Uh, this is getting into super detail mode here. I like to avoid this many pieces, but mm, I'm already on the path now. It's hard to not do it because I'm kind of like right in the middle of doing it already. Did I not grab that one? No, I did. It's right there. Okay. Yeah, I guess that kind of looks okay. I hope it moves like it's supposed to. Um, so for these pieces, I think I think this is kind of not supposed to really be there, but I do think I need a piece that references that one. So I need to move this one down. That's probably good. And then this is where the seat goes. Um, I guess I might as well make the seat now. So let's just turn off mass rotation. Just sit that thing flat on there. That looks like a good enough seat position, I think. Let's see. I think there's like a... Let's leave a little metal bracket sort of thing right there. And then let's put the seat on top of that. Yeah. And actually probably around it too. Now for the 10 speed seat it's gonna be kind of like pointy in the front how's the size reference here let's go like so yeah Let's do that. Now I'll put one right there, and then I'll put some on the sides here, and these will be rotated. Fifteen degree rotation, that sounds good. Um, let's go, yeah, let's just do fifteen, that sounds, that sounds good. Not sure. I guess I'm using these back here. They help to fill in the gap. Let's just kind of throw some blocks on there and see how it see how it works. Yeah, I guess that's uh I guess that's okay. I never much like the super pointy seats anyway. It does need to be a little more pointy because it's kind of the point, it's kind of the style. Okay, that looks uncomfortable enough. I like that. Let's make it more uncomfortable.
that one's 3.5 3.5 Yeah, I have a block here. I'll just clone it. And now I can just grab it. Do what I want to with it. All right, I think that's good. No, I guess it doesn't matter if that's doubled up there. That's just the more the merrier, right? All right, uh, that looks a little hmm, lame, pathetic. I don't know, wrong. That's good enough. Hmm. Something very unsatisfying about that. Of course it always is. Even when you sit on one of them, it's still very unsatisfying. <laughs> it's like, why would anybody design something so uncomfortable? It seems like it's too small. That's a really small seat. They're always really small seats. Maybe it's okay. All right, let's go with it. Okay, so this one here is referenced the same angle. Let's do that. Okay, so I need to have handlebars off of this thing. Um, let's see, that's 0 0.5, 0 0.05 adjustment. I don't want to do that. Let's see, I think... I think this piece is actually needs a, a stem that sticks up on this. Got that even all the way around? Yeah. Let's do let's do that. Let's call that one that silvery color. That thing's kind of a silver. So is so is that. Let's make the seat color. Let's call it. We can just call it that color, can't we? The same as the frame? Yeah, that's kind of be weird, wouldn't it? Let's go... Should I go dark black with the seat? Gosh, it's always black, but how, how black is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good enough. Now you see why I probably ended up where I ended up. My okay, good enough attitude. Let's do like, what's 10 look like? It's probably, probably just fine actually. Let's go with, let's go with eight though. So I'll just change that to two and just chew two off of there because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put an angle on these guys as well. Um, I think just maybe, maybe a 45 on here. One, two, three, there's a 45. One, two, three, there's a 45. And then bring that in. Let's go, let's just bring it in like so. 
I can I can clean this up afterwards. This is um, that's not too bad. I don't know why I did that just a second ago. That's funny. All right, that's two by two. That's two by two. Okay, I just had to cut that video because I had to go look up a picture of a bike because it's been a little while since I've seen one of these things and I, I got it wrong. I, I got a few things wrong. So at first I was heading the wrong direction with these handlebars. So I'm going to fix that. And to fix that, it, it's, all, it's all just, let's see, pull that like so. Try to get this back out too. So there's two by two. So you just you just kind of pull them pull them back that direction and then just move them like that, and then you're back to a 45 degree angle again, but you're heading in the opposite direction. And both these blocks are two by two. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this corner up right here, that little overlap. That looks like that looks like point one. Ooh, that's not bad. I could be more picky about that, but I think that's good enough. There's some you won't hear me say very often. Okay. Cool. Now let's bring that back out to two just for consistency. And okay, so that's that's something I noticed was wrong when I started looking at the picture. Uh, another thing that I noticed was that this the angle of this bar here is not quite right. So what, what I need is this bar crosses with this one at about the same spot. They need to kind of come together right here to create a nice A-frame sort of thing. Uh, you know, add strength to the strength to the bike um, in in the real world. So I'm going to go ahead and modify that angle just a little bit. Okay, I think that's the only pieces I need to grab. I've got my rotation set to 5 degrees. And, you know, I think maybe with a little bit of movement, that's that might be all I need. Let's see, I need to move, not clone. You know, that actually is pretty darn close right there. I mean, it's aimed in the right direction. Let me, let me just scale that thing up. And there I just messed up my nice clean numbers. That's okay. All right. And the other thing I noticed was the seat is terrible. I mean, the seat's terrible anyway, but you no, know, my seat in particular, this design is not right. So I'm going to grab these three pieces. I'm going to elongate it just a little bit by cloning it forward I'm going to go forward one and now I'm going to grab these and I'm going to just I'm just make that a little narrower so I'm going to rotate it five degrees make sure you grab the outside piece because there's two of them almost inside of each other right there okay and now I'm going to grab those and bring them bring them out as far as I can you know, that's not quite right either. I'm going to do like that. And go forward another notch. And there's two of these pieces here, so I'm just going to delete. Do I delete one of those? Maybe I don't. Maybe I just use it. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. Yeah, I did change the angle. Okay, that's good. Let's see. So this side should match that side. I think I'm a little off here. Famous last words. I'm a little off. Darn right I am. Okay, that's actually... 3.5 is better. Cool. Bring that out. I could probably square that thing off or something. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. It's better. Better than it was. Um, hmm. Something's still not right about it. I think it's the position of the seat reference to the bar underneath it. And I think for that, I just need to go like, yeah, that's better. Get the support right underneath the body. 
Okay, handlebar is curving that general direction. It makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go turn this stuff back on. Go back and rotate this. I'm going to set it back to 15 degrees because that's what I'm familiar with. One, two, three. And that points it forward again. Awesome. One, two, three. Cool. And now I'm just going to bring that one into the other one a little bit. Stick with the 2x2 two two thing. And this is going to be 0.1 again, I believe. Okay, the other one I said was good enough. And that's the same as that one. Now I'm, double, I'm questioning myself. Is that actually good enough? Because... If it's not, then I just end up tweaking it again. I guess I could pull out of this uh, this tutorial and tweak it afterwards, but here I am sitting here looking at it. I might as well do it. Okay, that didn't take very much. That means this one's not going to take very much either, just like a 0 0.01 adjustment. I think I went 0 0.02 there. There we go. Wow, that actually doesn't take very much. Very nice. I can go ahead and pull this one out 0 0.01 and then when I get my other adjustment done it'll be it'll be done and this one here there we go awesome make sure that I did the same thing with that one yeah 2.01 that works a lot better okay this darn zooming in zooming out thing is driving me crazy 0 0.5 let's go ahead and pull that thing where it needs to be Sweet. And that adjustment there is actually 0.1. Okay. Now, now that number's all messed up looking. Oh, but look, it almost matches that one. Awesome. And now it does. Which is still not right. But that's okay. 0.09 fixes that one. I don't know why I'm doing this. Sorry. It's like I forget I got people watching me. I'm just so happy to be playing the game. I generally am. This is so much fun. I love to just build. This is the challenge that keeps me, well, it's one of the challenges that keeps me coming back for more here. So, so this thing did its turn and it needs to go out a little ways. Yeah, it needs to go out just a little ways. And then, and then it needs to do its turn down oh there we go adjust by 0.09 that's that's going to be happy what a terrible adjustment number okay let's go out 4.5 that sounds good and actually i need to stop tweaking the other side because i think from this point on i can just go ahead and adjust these things um, on one side i can just make one side and then and then I can just clone the whole thing over to the other side. I am actually looking at a picture now, thinking, how do I need to adjust these things? Um, I don't want to do too much detail here because it's completely unnecessary to over detail this portion of a bicycle, I think. Let's go 0 0.0. Is it 0 0.09? Maybe it is 0 0.09. Let me see. That is not too bad. I think I like that adjustment number. Cool. I mean, for this reason, not in general. 1.5. What number is that? That's 1.5 versus 2. That is the right number right there. Okay. All right. I'm just constantly double checking everything I'm doing because, uh, you know, if I don't, I get something wrong. Let's see, if I curve this at this point, is that going to look right? Two, three. I'm going to teach myself to love that adjustment number, that 0.09. Okay, now, 
if I curve that again it's gonna look it's gonna be too tight I need to actually extend this thing so in order to do that here's a here's a cool little trick um, you want to grab the one that's pointed in the direction you're gonna move I'm gonna move this thing out and I'm gonna do it like this so I grab this piece as a reference for my angle I'm just gonna go out one and then pull this back and you're and you're there you don't have to patch and, and fine-tune there and then this thing here I can just go down so this one 3.41 same thing there neat and I can just do the same thing here place a block rotate it one two three that's 45 degrees grab the scale tool there's probably a probably a lot easier way to have these numbers memorized I really don't care because everything I'm doing I always uh, you know kind of just customize it the next time cool and back to point oh or point five adjustment pull it up to 3.41 uh, that's not exactly what I what I want I think I think it has room for improvement I guess that's a good way to put it I think I've been graded like that before. Room for improvement. Sounds like something a teacher would say. And they would of course be right most of the time. <laughs> okay, so now I have messed up that uh, messed up that number. I won't be able to use my point zero nine anymore. Hey, funky thing there. Let's just go to point zero one. I'll just go ahead and make these adjustments fine tuned. Looking good. I'm gonna pull that out to something that looks like two. Perfect. And then back. Mm. Yeah, that's probably about. That's probably about enough. I don't know where to stop here. 3.5, that's a nice number. Not that it really matters. I got all these other funky numbers all over the place. Okay, um, I guess I can stop there. Does that look right? It still looks funny. Yeah, it still didn't look big enough. Looks like it needs to be a bigger, bigger circle there, bigger arc. Okay, I can do that. And just move it that way and then I'm going to deselect this one and double select that one and move it that way and deselect that one and then double select this one and move it and boy that that makes it look better it looks a lot better that way okay um, change that back to 0.5 since I moved all those things 0.5 and they'll all line up nice and neat there better better I almost think it needs more Ugh. okay gotta stop at some point I'll stop for now maybe I'll go back and retweak that you guys can make it however you want to you guys can do a better job than I'm doing that's for sure all right now I need to move this over there what's the chances that's a nice even number not very good <laughs> I see what I ended up with there. So what you can do here is you can just place a block and oops, place a block on that surface right there. And then you can move it in until you figure out what number that actually is. 0 0.01 and just slide that in until you come up even with that other piece. See this right here. Um, so I know that this slice right here, which is 0.15, that's the distance I need to move these guys. I need to just change my move tool to 0.15 and we'll just scoot that over 0.15 just like that. There we go. Lined up nice and neat. Okay, now this piece here probably needs to be thicker for one thing, but for right now I'm just going to make sure it's the right color and then I don't know what color I'm using for the handlebars. Let's uh, let's go with. Ooh, geez, ugh, that's terrible. 
let's see if we can find a more neutral color. I think the uh, I think the old bike I used to have had black padding or something on the handlebars. The one the picture I'm looking at's got blue on the handlebars. It looks stupid though. Sorry, somebody came up with that. I'm sure they probably thought they were doing a good job. And they probably were. I'm probably not. That's okay. Not a professional bike builder. I don't claim to be. And let's see. I guess. I guess if I move that out, it lines up with that, and that's a good thing, I suppose. It looks like a 0.25. Yeah, kinda. With a little slop. Well, you know, these are separate pieces, so they don't have to actually line up just right. Keep that in mind. Separate pieces, it's okay. Okay, what I do need to do is put a wheel up here to control this thing. And I guess, I guess I'll just use plastic because, because it seems to make sense. Um, because I'm using plastic for so much other stuff. Okay, and that's the angle that I want. I'm going to change that to 1. Try to even it up. Okay, so it's nice and even there. I'm just going to bring that up to right there. And this piece is going to be invisible, so it's not necessary that it be pretty or oriented. I mean, orientation is correct. Uh, that's important. Um, and I need to get this lined up right on the center of it. Cool. And now I need to pull that up by 0.1. Neat. Okay. So then you can see just a little bit of black here. You can see 0.1 of it. And in that way, the pink doesn't bond to the gray. And if you have them too close, then they'll bond together as soon as you reload. And that'll be bad. Okay. So that piece let's see i need to get that out of there that actually needs to be away from it needs to be away from this piece is what needs to to happen and then this one needs to make i need to make sure it's not interfering so i need to move it to some minimal um, amount because right now i can tell that it goes right through this piece and it's touching this one because you can look at it right there and you can see that it will touch. It is touching. Now it's not touching. Pretty safe to say. Uh, but you can see these gaps. You can see down in there there's little gaps in there. So I can add another block in there. And probably the best way to do that is to add it right to that piece. I'm going to want to grab plastic, not a wheel. Plastic, put it right there, and it's got match rotation turned on, so that should light up just really nice, and it sure does. It's even on both sides, cool. I'm going to wait to color it until after I get it brought up here. That's just going to fill in that gap a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and bring it out. And that evens it up with the sides. You can see the active interference right there. And that'll make that'll make it look like it's connected to that other piece. Um, and in fact, I can see that this is 0.4. So I can go ahead and change this to 0.4. And because this thing's oriented the same way, I can just bring that 0.4 into that material and still not have an interference problem. So, or at least I shouldn't have a, you know, like a collision. I can color it, and it looks like I need to bring it on up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks more like a solid piece. That's cool. Okay, now I need to connect this to the frame. Mm -hmm. 0.5 again would be nice, just for standard stuff I'm going to protect that wheel just a little bit
Excellent. And these pieces can actually be pretty good size, but they don't need to be. Because as long as they exist, then they're not stuck. Okay, and I will invisible those things later. And this piece here has no purpose being that long. That was just a, that was an I'm going to do that later kind of thing. And I just did. That was later. Now it happened. So there's a brake caliper back here, and there's another one up here. I don't know if I'm going to add them, but I'm not going to add them right now. You guys can monkey around with those if you want to. Um, you know, you just look at a picture and try to make it look like that. And I'm looking at the picture now thinking I'm ready for pedals, and then kind of put a seat on it and see what happens. I guess I could do that before I even add pedals. There's nothing really wrong with that, I guess. Let's put the pedals on. What the heck? Um, so this big square thing, that's not really normal. Sorry. Thinking habit. I am thinking that there's some weirdness here. I'm, I'm seeing that the chain goes around the sprocket and then it comes out it actually goes around this piece here so this piece here is actually could be tilted in fact it should be tilted in so I could get all that lined up right I think instead I'm just gonna fake it and I'm gonna fake it by um, putting oh do I want to move it in at all yeah, I guess I could. Um, you know, the more I look at this stuff, the more I think I should just go ahead and do it. And I should be less wishy-washy with you guys. But let's see what 5 degrees looks like. Oh, it is so almost touching that wheel. It's not. It's clearing. But now it's way out here. Is that what I want? It's kind of... It kind of is, kind of not. I'm not really sure about that. Hmm. Maybe just a less rotation would be better. Yeah. Well, how about less rotation? Let's do let's do a how about half of that? 2.5 degree rotation. I think that's the first time I've done a point something rotation. That's that's actually okay. And it doesn't touch the back tire. And I can go ahead and move it in then. So let's go ahead and go to move. And I got it set to 0 0.1. Shoot, I think I could probably get away with 0.25. Whoops, 0.03. What in the world? How did that come out of my fingers? Oh, I can go ahead and go to 0.5. There's enough clearance there. As long as it's not physically touching, as long as you got 0.1 clearance, you're good. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. 0.5. Adjust that in. And that makes... Ooh, that thing makes it sit inside there again. Very nice. Oh, I like that. That's cool. This thing probably has the same deal. It's probably angled somehow. I think I think in the picture I'm looking at, there's a slope here to these two bars. They, they come on up and they slope down. And your brake caliper goes between. Ugh. Details, details. It's a vehicle, okay. So for vehicles, I uh, try not to overdo the, the details. <laughs> <laughs> As I've overdone the details for the last, like, hour. Okay, I need to make a circle here. Is there a better way to get a circle there? It sure is. What about this? What about this sprocket with these things here on it? I could just invert that put it out there yeah that's the that's the tough way I'm, I'm gonna do the cheap no nah, I don't know I don't know what I'm doing do four see how big it needs to be first so it needs to be larger than that other one. Oh, but it does need to spin I want it to rotate so badly with the pedals because that would be that would be cool. 
Maybe I'll actually put a fake chain in there. That'd be kind of neat. All right, you know, I'm going to just size this thing down by 0.5. Maybe 0.5 thinner. Either side, and then I can then I can size this down a couple of notches too. Okay, awesome. That actually kind of makes that makes my the rest of my process here a little easier. I'm going to slap a wheel in there now. Let me take that thing out of the way for now. Okay, so I center both of those wheels. I'm going to scoot them in. So their, their block here is like a 2x2 two two block. So I can move that guy in, well, I guess 1.9. And then you got a little gap there. That's okay. And a little gap there. Also, great. Now I can add plastic and start with the start with the circle there. So I might have to actually replace this wheel later. Sometimes when you're placing blocks and adjusting in and out, uh, you actually move things um, detrimentally. So we'll see about that. Right now I'm just going to scoot this in 0.9. did that okay that was a move instead of a instead of a um, scale okay now pedals 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 um, there needs to be a circle here I'll just go ahead and do a circle because why not yeah why not what was I going to do four five four let's do five cool and now I'm gonna scale that in and bring it all the way into that there we go actually that's kind of neat completely covers up the wheel then okay so profile what do I want to do here for the profile um, I'm just going to make an outline of what it is that I'm thinking it really needs. Clone that out, put it back in, rotate. Ooh, I do not want to do that. 2.5, that's not right. Let's go to 15 degree rotation, something I'm a little more familiar with. And we're just going to create a circle here, so I'm just going to go to my tool here 0.05 one of my favorite numbers to adjust by one point eight one point eight awesome now I bring it in point two on the other side as well so this one here comes in and this one comes in by point two now we got one point six total for the width of these things and now I can start cloning them in higher volume. Ooh, no. Before I do that, I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to grab both of them and I'm going to clone them out back in and then I'm going to grab them and adjust them by one. Maybe two. Eh. I'll just do one to begin with and see what that looks like. So I'm pulling them both directions. And there we go. Cool, that'll make, some, make a nice circle. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in just a little bit. There's more to it. Let's select all of those pieces. more time and four rotations of 15 degrees a piece one two three four awesome 
Okay, and then I can grab a certain amount of these. Let's do let's do like One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the same across there. Um, let's do this one. One, two, three, four, and that one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, that one. So it's the fifth one, not count to five first. One, two, three, four, that one. And one, two, three. That's yeah, totally uneven. Why didn't I think about that? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, because it's me. Well, mm, that doesn't look quite right. Eh, am I going to leave it that way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I am. Because it doesn't really matter. Um, who's going to notice? Okay. Everyone will notice. Yes, I know. Too bad. Okay, mm, let's go down eight and up eight. Is that good enough for the pedals? Absolutely not. So there's a downside to making these things too long for pedals because then they'll smack the ground. But if you don't have them long enough, then well, it just looks stupid. So. That's good enough. Now I'm going to add another block to that, another block to this, and I'm going to go out like that. I'm going to go out this way. One notch? Yeah, probably just one notch. One. Two. Okay, I still worry about those being a little bit too long, but that's okay. I'll deal with that. And for this, I'm going to need a hinge. If I remember where the hinges were, I'd be doing a lot of a lot better. Okay, there we go. Um, a hinge on this. Let's just do like that. So we're going to put our pedals on here. Whoops, that was dumb. I forgot to rotate that one. Cool. And now I need another piece of plastic. I'm just going to put it right there. And another one right there. Okay, so I need to go out 0.6. Alright, that makes sense now that I'm doing it wrong. Okay, cool. 0.6. And then I'm going to adjust it like so. Let's see, I want the center of it to actually have the pedal on it. Mm, that's not too bad. I can do that. I can just I can just do that. Oh, actually that's awesome. I can do that. So place just go ahead and place blocks all the way around right in the center and then we're going to create a little um, a little protective cup kind of thing for this hinge so it doesn't get knocked off of there very easily okay cool now adjust 0.6 on all of that 0.6 each one of these blocks gets 0.6 and then each one of these gets 0.6 So then we have this little gap here. That's a 0.1 gap. That's what you need. I'm going to do 0.5 and pull those guys in. So we're making a box for them. It should be pretty nice and even. Although sometimes it seems like the uh, the hinges they, they're not centered. They don't. Um, it's like you'll end up with a little a little funky thing. Ah, it's right there. A little funky thing right there. What is that? So I can like replace that block again and then size it again and it might work out oops might work out better i can see it already it's going to work out better i think 0.5 
Yeah, if you're running into something like that, just place it again. Try to get it dead center. Make sure that both of them look good all around. I don't have any more of those little silly gaps. Okay, cool. And now you can place a kind of a cap on it right here. Okay, I got interrupted there for just a second, but back in action. So place place a block right there in the center of that and then size it down 2.5 okay I get both of those and now I can just attach the pedal right to that that actually is a piece that has the pedal on it and let's do let's just pull that in 0.5 either direction and pull it out maybe one and then out this way to what, six eh, that might be reasonable six cool that looks like something sort of like a pedal and then we have to add a block I'm gonna go with uh, let's go with gold uh, this is for weight this makes the pedal spin when you stop it makes that pedal heavy on one side and it does this little flingy thing and then it comes back to center okay awesome and needs a little color let's add some color to these pieces here That piece is not supposed to be gray. All of this is supposed to be colored as well. All right, awesome. Those uh, gold blocks are gonna be invisible eventually and let's go ahead and color the petals something just a little different okay um and i think it's time for time for a test um i need a uh, i need a counterweight on this thing and for the counterweight i'm going to i'm going to do something just a little bit a little bit different here i'm going to, I'm going to match rotation to this guy and then I'm going to pull that in. See, so I've got 0.5 set. Cool. And I'm going to pull this up. So the reason I'm doing this is that I need a nice solid. Um, I need a nice solid piece to attach our seats to. I'm just going to run that down and run it right through the middle of that. Now these wheels that are inside here, they're buried inside there. That's not going to affect it at all. Um, so. I'm going to take that down and the idea is right between the wheels you want to have your counterweight so that's that's about right right there I'm going to turn off match rotation and I'm just going to have place a block like up here somewhere and then I'm going to scale that in so that it kind of lines up with that thing this is this is all going to be invisible stuff so you don't have to mess around too much with this don't worry about uh, a little bit of slop is okay here for sure and bring that down so it's almost touching the ground but not quite and then put some titanium on it titanium is one of the heaviest blocks on hero plays roblox plays with a z i've done a um, tutorial video style thing on the weight of the blocks and counterweights and protection blocks and all kinds of stuff so if you need more if you want more information check out hero plays roblox and there's lots of it there so because this is such a narrow uh, wheel frame thing here, I really don't want the thing to wobble from side to side very much at all. So I'm just going to go out to a six, a six wide counterweight. And this thing needs to be pretty small too, pretty tight. So that should do it. Um, now this, I'm going I'm to bring it all the way down to that piece and... It up okay so this right here is 149 
blocks of titanium. I'm going to clone that. Clone it up and then back down into itself. And that makes this total 290 a 297 <laughs> and I think I might end up doing it again but we can we can certainly test it just like that you can always add more of that kind of stuff um, this block here and this one and then of course both of those but not my jetpack this one this one and that wheel right there those are all going to be invisible and collision off think that will be great oh I forgot these guys too invisible collision doesn't really matter on those I'm gonna turn it off anyway just for kicks oh there's another one right there that piece also could be invisible or maybe I could just leave it and color it something do I color it eh, I could let me, let me just color it something. I'll just color it like this one. I guess I'm going to have to get inside that thing. Mm, that works. Cool. Okay, place a seat. Place a seat. Oh, there is another, there's another thing I'm going to show you. I should probably just go ahead and do it. Um, so this, I'm going to place a regular seat first, and I'm probably going to rework this thing in just a little bit, and it will it will have a pilot seat on it eventually. Uh, so that gold block that I brought up here, it's sitting right up in here. There's the tip of it sticking out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a gold piece inside the seat. Well, shoot, I'll just do it now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about it. That's ridiculous. I'll just show you. Put a gold piece there and I'm just going to sink it in and 0.5 is probably just fine. There we go. And that will be invisible, uh, but the seat will latch onto that because it's at that same level. And let's go ahead and make it invisible. And that ties in with this block right here. You can see that that's that gold block that goes all the way down that becomes the counterweight. And um, that will help hold our seat together. So you'll find that the, the bombs that shoot uh, in that one stage, like a, uh, I forget the name of the stage right now. It doesn't really matter. Um, they'll come over and they'll target your seat. And what they'll do is they'll end up taking out this plastic and then your seat will fall off. But if you put that gold core in there, uh, the plastic will go away and you you might be sitting on air, but you're actually sitting on that invisible gold um, That'll help you survive a little bit better uh, I'll Put an extra seat on there just for kicks um, a lot of times I will take these kind of seats and mm, I'm gonna move that up. That's okay. I'll, I'll take these things and I'll do like transparency 25% and then I'll make them the same color as the seat so you can still like see that they exist so you see where to sit down and you can see if the seats are gone or not if they've been taken out by something um, but you know they still looks like a bicycle seat there kind of uh, and I'll probably invisible the driver's seat eventually let's see something else to do I guess I could re I could probably redo these things they probably need to be redone so I guess I just need to start at first by un, unhooking all of them. It's a little silly, but what if I just went ahead and place another seat? So since they get all binded already, you can just throw another seat on and they'll not be binded to it. There we go. Now I only have one binding to mess with. I'll just go ahead and move that seat back. Cool, and that binding is to there. Let's let me get up here and see what I'm looking at. Okay, seat's nice and level. I'm going to unbind this from the seat, and I'm going to have to mess with that binding in just a little bit because that's the one that turns the wheel. But that's okay to have to mess with it. Kind of expected.
Okay, forward. Let's go W. Backwards is S. So all of those are back wheels or old wheels. So there is no right and left to those. And this one here is going to be my turning wheel. So forward, I have no idea. I'm going to say D is forward and A is backwards. I might just have to reverse that in just a second, but that's, that's easy enough to do. Okay, I'm going to save and reload. All right, saved, reloaded. Select all, an anchor. Pedals move, that's awesome. Oh boy, pedals is the only thing that moves. That's not so awesome. Why is the pedal the only thing that moves? Okay, a little bit of troubleshooting to do. What's touching where? Oh, ha, I understand. So it's so heavy because I added that counterweight and then I forgot that I need to set the wheel torque and the speed I don't want uh, I don't want this thing to go too awfully fast especially to begin with um, let's do 10 and then this one up here actually needs to be quite a bit slower because <laughs> you don't want your wheel turning super super fast um, so let's just, just put it at that for now let's see how that goes hey I got motion and I need to tie the pedals together um, I'll show you how to do that. Oh, the steering's backwards. That's not good. Oh, and the counterweight. Let's see if it's still intact. It is intact, but it's clearly not enough. It needs to be a lot heavier. So I might be able to pull myself out of that. Um, okay, the reversal of the steering. So I grab that, click on reverse spin. That'll allow me to steer this thing with some confidence that I know I'm turning right and left. Okay, awesome. So it moves, both wheels are not locked, they're not stuck. Um, all right, I'm gonna go have some food and I'll come back in just a second and show you the rest of this thing. So I reloaded and I set the wheel torques and speeds. If I set this one to one, there's my torque in the yellow. I hit reverse spin so I don't even have to re-key the, uh, redo the uh, key bindings. Uh, these, the rest of the wheels here I set to orange level and wheel speed 10. Um, one of the things I was going to do earlier, didn't get around to, was I'm going to connect a block across here. So this is going to be invisible, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter how clean it is. Uh, I just need to make sure it's not interfering with the other invisible block that runs right through here. So there it is. And sure enough, I would have just ran right into that. So let me... I'm going to adjust that this way, and adjust it that way, and all it has to do is just kind of get in here. It needs to just blend in with that, and this one just needs to miss it. So sure enough, that looks like it's going to miss just fine, and I can make that a little thinner. There we go. So it just has to get in there and interfere with those things. So that just ties the pedals together. These are two separate wheels, so I'm going to make sure they're actually spinning at the same rate. So that'll do that. Um, you can do a similar thing. No, we don't need to on these. Okay. I'm going to make that invisible and collision off. Oops. Invisible, collision off. Okay. That way it'll go all the way around. If you don't collision off, it'll just uh, do a half turn and it'll stop. Uh, the other thing I was going to do, counterweight. Let's do some more counterweight. You guys can use any of the uh, metal blocks. All the metal blocks are heavy. Uh, I'm talking the rusted metal, the titanium, the regular metal. Uh, seems like there's one or two others. Um, I'm going to just clone this up and back down. So that effectively doubles what we've got. Now I've got 594 on there. I might, yeah, I might give that a shot. So there's, there's some small advantage to having it be just the right weight. Because if it's too heavy, then you stick to the ground and it looks, um, it looks unnatural. It, it, you're stuck to the ground too much and you're too vertical and it never leans or anything. Um, 
I've done that before. You can do that. It's, it's a nice way to drive, but it drives like a car then. It doesn't drive like a bicycle. So now I'm going to unanchor and we're going to give this a try. Well, it didn't just fall right over. That's a good thing. We've got motion. That looks a little that looks a little funny. I'm wondering why it has this little hesitation right there. In fact, it has a lot of hesitation in it. I'm thinking it's just because it's so heavy and it's got a lot of weight on it. I'm going to go ahead and increase that torque all the way up. It still has a funkiness to it, but there may be a reason to that. It might be because I've got it tilted so much and I've got this angle to it. That might actually be a good thing that will help you in some cases. So now it's all just a matter of kind of like driving this thing and just seeing, seeing how it is to drive. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. Oh, now it's like kind of stuck. Oh, that's not good. Now it's stuck there. Hmm. Okay, that's a very uncomfortable place to be stuck. Let me reload that and see what we can do about that. Okay, reload it again. Let's just go ahead and turn on. Let's turn on transparency on everything so we can see exactly what's going on. So there was there were two little weird things. It, it freaked out for one thing, and the other thing was it had this hesitation in rotating. And, and oftentimes when you see a hesitation like that, it means there's a binding problem. I'm not sure exactly why there would be a binding problem because I referenced I referenced this plate right here when I put the block down that came up, this plastic that plugs into the wheel there. Why would that be? Hmm. Well, that one there shouldn't make any difference whether it's in there or not. It looks like it's at the right angle. I'm looking at this angle here. All of this stuff here is all lined up. Hmm. There's something. There's something questionable about that. Let me. Let me see here. Let's put a block on this. Let's turn on match rotation. Let's see if I can do a little troubleshooting with you guys on the video here. It may not work out, but just see. So we should find that this block is completely level with with this wheel in every way. It sure looks like it is to me. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what else to do there. It'll come to me. Just hang on. The brain is trying to compute. That looks so good. Um. Okay, why would it not like that? Perhaps it's just too darn heavy. And, you know, things are allowed to be too heavy that that does happen sometimes so let me go ahead and delete this block I'm gonna move this wheel up and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scoot it up like that I'm gonna put a different wheel on there let's see what the regular wheel does so I'm gonna use the back wheel again and I'm gonna put it directly on top of that wheel and then I'm just gonna delete that wheel wait where'd my old wheel go Completely engulfed the old wheel. Okay, well, I think it's that one right there. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, this one I'm going to move down. And I need to move it down so it touches all that other stuff there. And then, boy, this thing is so sensitive on its zooming. And then I'm going to grab this and move it out of the way right there. This one here I need to move back. Keep it from touching that thing. And I probably need to... Uh, maybe I'll do that. I might need to actually move that wheel up another 0.5. Let's just, let's just try it. 0.5.
Okay, um, I need to set the torque on that thing, I'm sure. And speed to one. Okay, we'll try that. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to load it again just because that's good measure. So I've still got everything visible. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it visible. We can test this way and then I'll, I'll clear it all later. Uh, make all the stuff invisible again as needed. Oh, that didn't get binded correctly. So I need to redo that. Let's do A and D. Hey, it turns the right direction. Okay. And it's not freaking out just yet. That's a good thing. It's also not fast enough. Um, needs to be two or three. That looks pretty good. Whew. Well, the wheel speed's certainly fast enough, but the counterweight's not anywhere near big enough yet. Let's double the counterweight again, and then I'll re-invisible re everything again. See how that looks. I gotta make sure I set that wheel speed to three when I reload. Okay. Okay, so I've got the counterweight doubled again. Now I'm sitting at, at 1,188 titanium for the counterweight. Um, I've binded that uh, that rotation of the turning wheel. This one up here, I, I've binded it again, and it should be good now. I think. I hope. Let's see. Well, it steers correctly. That is the direction I'm trying to go. Um, Still too wobbly. Needs more counterweight. Let's try the same amount of counterweight, but I'm going to move it down a little farther. I'm going to take it down like maybe 10 blocks down. And I think I'm going to change the wheel speed to 10 instead of 20 because that is way too darn fast. It's sort of panicking there, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see what that does. If I just change the wheel speed to 5. I guess I already had it at 10. Let's change it to 5. What's that do? 
Oh, that makes it a lot more tolerable. It's still too wobbly. But it does kind of have a, a bicycle kind of wobble to it. Huh. I think I'm going to change counterweight just a little bit. Maybe I'll move it down. Maybe I'll move it down five and make it heavier at the same time. I don't know. Moving it down takes away some of its wobble, which is actually kind of one of the neat things about driving a bicycle, is its ability to go side to side like that. But it can't be doing it uncontrollably and get into this this rhythm like that. that that's not right. So um, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Maybe I'll leave the weight the same and just see what happens when I move it down five. Let's do that. Okay, reload it again. I'm going to move the whole thing up in the air. Five more. Maybe ten more. And then I can adjust it twice without moving the whole thing again. If I have to. Okay, selecting the counterweight. And yeah, sure, that rod. Move it down by five and grab that rod right there. Change my scale tool to five and move it up. Scale it up rather. Okay, now uh, I need to go ahead and select all of these wheels. Change them to five. That seemed to work best. Um, raise the torque as well. Yeah, might as well. Okay, resave, reload. All right, moment of truth. That works pretty well. I'm just kind of trying to get it wobbling here. Let's see. Let's see how it straightens itself out. Mm, still wobbly. Might just need. It might just need more counterweight. I might need to double that yet again. But the height difference of five actually did kind of it did kind of help i kind of like that it actually drives pretty good aside from that little extra wobble it's got Let's see how it goes down to the to the treasure and see if i can actually get there it seems it seems a little slow but if i add protection blocks in front of it in other words a whole bunch of panels of plastic then all of this will smooth out that might be okay I see I'm losing my sand already. You can see you can see that sand disappearing pretty fast off that front wheel. Of course, protection blocks will help with that because it will be chewed up by all these little things I run into along the way here. The gold really makes for a nice strong wheel and helps to take the explosions a little bit easier than some of those other material types. Ooh, I do not have jets yet, so I'm going to pull over here, kind of go around this thing if I can. Yay, I didn't fall in the washing machine. Right. Oh, gets a little bouncy, a little scary. Well, can you imagine trying to take your 10 speed over rocks this size? Oh, you would, for sure, you'd have a concussion. Maybe a broken arm. Because <laughs> you'd end up on your face for sure. Yeah, at least I would. Okay, somebody out there is watching this video going, oh, I could do that. You might be right. You wouldn't be me. All right, cool. That actually did work. Wow, now that was a long tutorial. If you guys made it this far, congratulations and thank you so much. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel if you have a chance. That'd be awesome. And I want to show you what I've done since the since ending the tutorial. There, uh, this is uh, this is a few hours later. Uh, I've moved the uh, protection blocks all the way down here. Uh, let's see. Let me just let me just reveal everything so I can show you what I did. So I ended up with 2,673 for counterweight. Um, yeah, it's a lot, but that actually works pretty well. And this is the protection block here. So I attach the protection block to this piece. It's going parallel to the ground. So that's what you want to attach to, and that uh, that rotates with this wheel and 
it doesn't need to be very wide. That's the advantage. So the entire uh, the entire protection block area is almost 7,000 plastic. But you know, it's not 20,000 plastic like some of my builds. So it is somewhat doable. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, oh the height of this. So I, I went ahead and lowered it down more. And just for reference here, I'm going to measure this. So this height is, turn that little scale thing on there, approximately 20 down to the top of the protection block, which is 6 by 9 by 22 long. And so it's it's pretty far underneath there. And I was looking at this uh, at this ratio, this distance right there, and the distance from the bottom of the wheel up to you know thinking about maybe the center of the wheel here so you've got all this mass up here and most of it is in the wheel and of course the center of the mass of the wheels is the center of the wheel and there's not a lot else on here that's not plastic there is there's just some gold you know there's a gold core that goes all the way up but it's it's kind of compensated for by the gold on the bottom um, there's very little of anything else you know the, the wheels um, uh, a couple of hinges you know but nothing nothing really of significance that adds a lot of weight um, except for the wheels themselves so having this protection block in this position puts the center of mass of the vehicle somewhere you know probably around in here um, maybe just a little lower than that so that it seems to work pretty well so I just wanted to show you those changes, um, the protection blocks, it's all plastic, it's collision off, it's just a bunch of panels. Uh, I move them, I separate them by eight studs, so that seems to work pretty well. Um, got that gold core in there, you can see that. I put a few more seats on here and rearranged my seating. I still have a driver's seat on here right now, and I'm going to leave it that way for a little while. It lets uh, people like Hero uh, drive my my bicycle as well. So. Um, that's it. I don't think I really did a whole lot afterwards. Oh, I should probably show you the ending torque values and such. So here's here's green torque on that one with a wheel speed of five. The pedals they don't really matter because they're not really doing much. But I did set them to go faster than the regular wheels because you know it has gears. Perhaps somebody has it in a different gear. So uh, this wheel here, there's the yellow torque and a wheel speed of three. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Check out Hero Plays Roblox for all my older videos and Mick Plays Roblox will continue to be updated. I've got a lot of things, a lot of things planned. So um, stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.